boys and girls. Welcome to your first handwork lesson. Today I'd like to show you how to make a nature loom. If you look at my picture, you will see that I have woven nature into my nature womb. Perhaps you would like to do the same thing or perhaps you'd like to weave with thread or ribbon whatever you find lying around the house. Are you ready to begin? Fantastic! What we need to start our loom off are four pieces of sticks. So they need to be the same length. They can either be sticks you found in the garden. I've used some bamboo. You can use lollipop sticks or even some society sticks if you've got it at home. Why don't you go and see what you can find and collect four pieces that are of equal length. You will also need some string and a handy pair of scissors. Good! Now to start our loom off we're going to take two pieces of sticks and cross them at their tips. We are then going to tie a knot around the two of them so that they are tight. We then take the piece of string and wind it around the two pieces of stick at the corner in a criss-cross manner so that the sticks are tight. Then you can tie the string in a knot again and move on to the next corner. We do this on all four corners so that we have almost made a frame. If you have a frame you could also use a frame if that's possible. Good, your loom should be quite strong because you are going to need to handle it so we don't want it breaking. When you have finished with all four corners, you're now going to take the string again and you are going to tie it to one end and then you are going to wind it around the top and the bottom pieces of sticks so that it goes um, around and leaves equal space between each um, wound piece of string. When you've reached the end, you can tie it into a knot again so that the, the string is secure. Good. Make sure that your loom is secure and that you can handle it with ease. All right. Now we have the fun task of finding the pieces of nature or cut up pieces of material or pieces of ribbon or yarn, perhaps different colors, different textures, whatever you'd like to use in your loom to do the weaving. I've chosen some natural um, pieces of um, leaves and some plants. Make sure that they are long enough that when you weave them into your um, your your loom that they extend the same distance. You don't want it too short. And make sure you've got about six or seven pieces going down depending on how big your loom is. All right. Now boys and girls hold your loom so that the string that you've wound around the edges is facing you vertically. Can you remember the difference between vertical and horizontal? Vertical is when they are standing upright. When they're not lying down, they're standing upright. Okay, now you will see on your loom the first piece of string. If it is at the top or at the bottom, you need to identify. Is it at the top? Then you are going to start there by going over the top one and under the bottom one. 
If it is at the bottom, you start by going under the bottom one and over the top one. If you are unsure, perhaps you'd like to ask mom or dad to show you. All right. Now, in the same way as you've started your first string, going over the top, under the bottom, you're going to bring your piece of yarn or your leaf back over the next top one, under the next bottom one. Again, over the top, under the bottom. And in this way, you are weaving your yarn or your leaf into the thread and the thread will hold it so that it doesn't fall out. When you are finished with your first piece that you've woven in, you can readjust your strings so that they are easily visible and you can pull your piece so that it is nice and secure. Then take a different piece and do the same thing. Continue doing this until you have reached the bottom of your loom and you are happy with all the variety of either yarn or thread or ribbon or leaves and sticks that you've put in there. You're then going to take a strong pair of scissors and snip the edges so that it's all the same length. So you can see I've snipped some of my leaves to make sure that they are all the same length. Good. Now you should have a complete woven artwork. You can now ask mom to take some extra string and loop it around the edges so that you can hang it up on your wall or you can hang it against a window or you can lean it against a wall somewhere pretty. You could even consider it wrapping it up and giving it as a gift to one of your neighbors. I hope you've enjoyed your handcraft for today. I certainly enjoyed making mine. I really miss you all. I wish you a wonderful day, boys and girls. Bye.